you're big. Yeah. You're a big guy. I'm wide as you are. Yeah. Wide ain't nothing. I got that on you. It's, wide it's the tall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, you saw the title. What What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, it's my buddy John. Um, if you haven't seen the Moby Dickies video, you got to go check that out. That was a blast. Good stuff. <laughs> I like seafood. All right. This is your recipe. Yep. And I named it because it cost me $100 to buy all this. 100 bucks. Dude, how long have you been making this? Mm, 10 or 12 years. Awesome. It's like a family thing. Yeah, and, and you don't measure anything, so I'm going to have to measure it for you. Yeah, I don't. mm, -mm. No I mean, measure. I measure meat because it says three pounds on the package. Right, right. Okay, it. so we will have the recipe down below, though. Yeah. So they'll be able to make it. And then, oh, we forgot something. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I love wine. We're going to put wine in it. I only like wine for cooking, by the way, guys. You guys know I don't. Uh, I drink wine. Do you drink wine? Yeah. All right, so uh, the ingredients for this chili are pretty simple. There's just a lot of them. You got three sweet onions. Uh, three bell peppers, different colors, just for just for you know color in the chili. Uh, two two big cans of diced, two big cans of puree, two big cans of sauce, two big cans of uh, crushed, four little cans of stewed, um, two dark red, two light red, two great northern, and uh, two black beans. Two pounds of white mushrooms, three pounds of sausage, two mild. This is important. Tennessee pride. You gotta use that sausage, it's the best. Uh, two mild Tennessee Tennessee Pride, um, one pound of hot, two jalapenos, um, three heads of garlic, um, a thing of celery, we'll only use like two stalks of that, red wine for heartburn, um, pound of hickory smoked rice bacon, and sharp cheddar for the end of it. Did I get everything? Yeah, sounds right. good. Cool. Oh, tomato paste. All right, so uh, the most important part about the meat, you got to have a big skillet or a big Dutch oven because you got to cook the meat all together three pounds at a time. So two mild and one hot sausage. I, I brown the sausage and dump it. I brown the chuck and dump it. I brown the bacon and dump it. And I put onion, pepper, and um, celery in every meat. All right, I'm starting to put some of the vegetables in here. Um, there's really no measurement. That's a third of the vegetables. Can you tell? Oh, great. Um, but you just, you put a little bit of everything in there just for color change. And so that you get the flavor of each meat in your vegetables. So my Trinity is different than other people's Trinity. I mean, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, of course, but, um, onion, celery, and bell pepper. Um, I, I brown the sausage and I've got the vegetables in there. I left the vegetables fairly firm. Oh, that was fun. Um, <laughs> but I didn't put the vegetables in first because I wanted them to taste like the sausage. So the sausage, I mean, all the meat goes in, and then you start building the chili. Next thing in the pot will be the bacon. The next thing in the pot will be the ground chuck, and then we'll start um, we'll start pouring tomatoes and stuff in there. Yeah, you gotta you gotta drain every meat because I don't. You can't have a whole bunch of uh, grease in your chili. There's still grease on the meat. It's just less grease than what was in there. Bacon creates so much grease, you don't want to add it all. This will be our last um, skillet portion. And then we will go from there. We'll start building the actual chili. I put a jalapeno in here. Depending on the heat of your chili, it's the reason we had two jalapenos out there at the beginning. If you want it hot, I can't eat really hot, but if you want it hot, put two jalapenos in it. If you want it warm, put one jalapeno. If you've got kids at home, put no jalapenos because the hot sausage will be enough. Okay, so I've got the chuck in here. I've added the rest of the vegetables um, and magic sauce, Worcestershire. You put in about two tablespoons. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like two tablespoons. So there's a lot of there's a lot of anchovy taste in that, and I, I don't know why I like it, but I don't like beef without Worcestershire in it, especially ground beef. Right there, you see that meat? It's three quarters of the way brown. When it's three quarters of the way brown, because I'm sure there's a technical term for that, you do that right there. I'm putting a pound of mushrooms on the ground beef, and no then way. no way. Yes, and then. Where is it?
You do that for five minutes. All right, you dump the chuck in with the rest of the meat. Put a cup of wine in there to deglaze the pan. Is that what we're doing? Yep. This is new for me, by the way. And then just scrape the bottom. All right, that's awesome. This smells so good. Once you're done deglazing the pan, you just dump it in, the, in with the meat, and then we start building the chili. All right, time to add the beans. You wash them, and drink, you wash them in a colander as you open each can, and then you dump them in. All right, so I've dumped all the beans in here. Now I'm going for the cans of stuff. It doesn't matter really what order you put the tomatoes in, but there is something that matters. Do not stir again until all the juice is in there. What you were talking about when you were making your other deal, Jack, the reason I want to keep these cans is because I use them for the water. Because the spatula only gets so much out. And so it's really crazy, but I go from can to can to can with water. And then I go just straight water. So all the tomatoes are in here and I've added the water. Um, the water was basically two cans of water for your, um, for your recipe. All right, chili powder. This is an exact measurement. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's the salt exact measurement. Because Jack said I need to be exact. Stir. This is pepper. Some people like a lot of pepper, some people don't. But this is what I do with my pepper. Another exact measurement. Stir. The great thing about that measurement is if you're using a smaller pot, you use less stuff. <laughs> okay, so oregano, this is for not as much for me as it is for other people because I've been told that it needs more oregano. Oregano is very pungent. This is granulated garlic because um, Three heads of garlic's not near enough. If you can't taste the garlic, the chili doesn't taste right. Now that's about half as much garlic as it was salt. Again, make the glaze go away. This is for Ty. He said it's soup if you don't add cumin. Cumin and chili powder make it chili. This is very important that right there you got to get all that off the top because it's a little bit of every spice that you just put in there okay that's off the top and then take your magic your giant spoon and this is from all the way to the bottom to here and we've had a low flame on this since the beginning okay so it's a little bit too thick and I know what you're thinking that looks correct that looks like good thick chili you want it to be a little bit watered, a little bit more water in there because as it cooks, it will thicken up because the tomato paste will start breaking down. Now, that should be about the right amount of water. Stir that one more good time. All right, now we bring this to a boil. A what? A boil. Jack calls it a slow simmer. You bring it to a bowl at low heat. So here we go with, with the next step and what is that? Mushrooms. These are the mushrooms that tell you when your chili's done. Okay, so we are one hour and a half into this and John told us that they're gonna look, how's it gonna look? It's gonna be a little wet. Don't look wet like you just stained them a little bit. All right, let's take a look. Take a look. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. All right, talk to me about this chili now. What are we looking at here? Yeah, whatever, dude. It's chili. I just want to taste it. All right. Oh, you're just ready to eat it? It just tastes, smells All so right, good. All right, go ahead. Cheese it up, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, help yourself. That's right. yours. Yeah, okay. So now cheese it up. 
Like you're at home, please. Let's not play games. No, I mean, I do. I know. I bet that ain't the amount of che- cheese yeah, you put on. Well, that's what I do. I don't do a lot of cheese. Oh, you don't? I don't, I don't mess up my chili with <laughs> cheese, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, you ready? Now we can do it. All right. He's so antsy. I'm going to eat my chili. Dude, it's still... So hot. Yeah, it's like Science Project hot, dude. It's been out for like 15 minutes. Uh, the cheese is like liquid now. It just melted. Oh, that's good. What, you need a bow. You need an insulated bow. What's a bow? Bow. Like a bow and arrow bow? You need an insulated bowl. Oh, bowl. Yeah. Well, that's all hot good. my hand. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm afraid of putting my mouth so flipping hot. You got good spice, mm. Mmm. Oh. Hurting my hand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so hot. It's so good though. You gotta just do this. Mm. Can y'all see me? All right, great. This is some of the best stewed tomatoes I've ever had. Ever. Hunts. I don't care. They put a lot of life into it. Wow. I'm gonna have this one right here. Oh. It's gonna be so Are hot. Are we just sitting here eating? We're not even saying goodbye or anything? They're like, dude, say goodbye. It's so hot. <laughs> All right. Go enjoy yourself. I'm yeah. eating dinner. Yeah. There it is. $100 chili. You guys, have a good one. We're going to go feed half the neighborhood with this. Take care. Have a good one. We're going to go feed half the neighborhood with this. Take care. Holy cow. <laughs> That's so hot. That is so hot, dude. It's like burning my mm. hand hot. We're going to bring this to a slow boil. What do you call it? A boil. No, a slow simmer. Oh, yeah. Slow simmer. Or a low slimmer. Slim. <laughs> Wait, take, take two.